But like a disclaimer, a disclaimer, I struggled. I truly and honestly struggled. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Alright you guys, so in my last video we unboxed the Decor Steals Steal It box for fall and uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. I mean fall is my absolute favorite time of year and I love decor items so if you like combine the two together it's always a good time for me. And in that video I said that I really enjoyed the box that I got but I also thought it would be fun to do a Can I Buy It Better? Basically where I take like the same amount of money that I spent on that box but I go like out into the wild on my own and spend that same amount of money on items that I pick myself and try to recreate the box but you know, like with you know my own personal picks. But y'all, this was hard. This was a difficult challenge. I feel like this is my hardest challenge I've had yet on one of these episodes. And I don't know why. Maybe I, I think honestly because the box truly did have a pretty good value. We got a lot of pieces and it was really hard to recreate all of those items for that budget. I have all my items sitting over here and I have my receipt to show you guys how much I spent on everything. But like a disclaimer, a disclaimer, I struggled. I truly and honestly struggled. I'm so worried about this one. I feel like you guys might be mad. I really did try to go like piece for piece. Like, all right, I need two pumpkins. I need two boxes. I need a vase. I need a blanket. Like everything I tried to match up, but I had a hard time trying to make everything stay within budget and like find things that made sense with everything together. So I hope you guys are okay with the things that I got. And I just, I feel, I feel like I failed a little bit. So let me what you guys think. So let's go ahead and get started. I did go on the shopping trip with my mom and Ren and then when we got there we realized we didn't have Ren's harness so I like bolted into the home goods to buy him a leash and a harness to make sure he was nice and secure while we were shopping. <laughs> so I grabbed him one of those really fast and then we, we secured him all into it but then he did have to ride around with like his tags on his, his little harness the whole time. <laughs> So every time I go into Home Goods, I walk in and go straight to the right. Like that's where I start like my rounds in Home Goods, and that's where they had like all of the Halloween decor, all the fall decor. So it's a very good place to start. The first thing I wanted to look for was pumpkins. So in the decor steel box, we had two very cute faux terracotta pumpkins. They are right here. I think they're very adorable. And this honestly was one thing that I struggled with the most. There was a billion pumpkins, millions and billions of pumpkins. Truly, probably one of the reasons I had such a hard time was because there's so much choice. I was overwhelmed with the amount of pumpkins that they had but they barely had any like little jack-o-lanterns like this they barely had any jack-o-lanterns that were open on the bottom that I could put a flickering light into because that's another thing that I was gonna get was some little tea lights so I looked around I looked everywhere for something that was like cut out like this and the only thing I could find was like very colorful they're from Martha Stewart they were little jack-o-lanterns on the back of them you could set a tea light into them but I said like what I liked about these is that you could turn them around like this is fall and this is Halloween so honestly and truly I really struggled with this and this is where I feel like I failed kind of the most maybe. <laughs> there goes probably other one other area where I probably failed the most but this was the first item we were looking for. And let me show you guys what I found. Okay so the first little guy here is just a very kind of rustic-y looking pumpkin. Um, It is not hollow. There are no cute little jack-o-lantern eyes or anything on it. But I feel like this definitely could be left out like all <laughs> almost said all year round. I mean you could if you want to. It's, it's not like it's gonna rot or nothing. If you like to have pumpkins out all year which I would like to do that you you can have it out. I kind of liked the realism of it. It almost looked like a little bit of a spooky pumpkin, which I also liked. You know, he doesn't have a cute little jack-o-lantern face, but there is like a hint of spook to him. This was $14.99 and that was another reason I grabbed this guy. Uh, a lot of the pumpkins were like $16.99, $19.99 and like up and uh, I had a limited budget to work with and a lot of items to get. So the first pumpkin I got was this one and then I got another pumpkin. <laughs> I feel like this one I kind of failed with as well, but like I saw it and I was like, I love that. I personally, this is really heavy. I personally love marble. Uh, I have marble countertops like throughout my house. I just love like marble candlesticks, like things like that. So I found a genuine marble pumpkin. Like this entire thing is solid yeah, as a rock because I'm pretty sure that's what marble is. Solid Solid as a rock, heavy as can be pumpkin. Oh gosh, it's so heavy. It has a little metal stem to it, and I know these two don't match, and the ones from the steel it box do, but I feel like when they're together, it's just, it's a cute little display. They both have a similarly colored stem, and I feel like the lightness of this one kind of offsets the darkness of this one a little bit, and also this one has some veining through it that's a little bit on like the warmer side, so I feel like they go together even though they don't really. I just honestly really enjoyed the contrast of the two with the light marble and the darker orange, and uh, this little guy was only $12.99. I feel like 
I couldn't pass him up for $12.99, especially for him being like a huge hunk of marble. This thing should last forever. Like, you know, the, the, the scientists that dig for like dinosaur bones and things. Paleontologists, uh, geo, uh, <laughs> scientists in thousands of years from now might come across this here hunk of marble and wonder why it's cut in such little like bumpy shapes. All right, so those are the first two items. And honestly, as much as I do like these, I feel like this is something that I would have in my home decor for fall, just like regardless. I do really like the terracotta jack-o'-lanterns. I feel like those are just super cute. And unfortunately, I just, I wasn't able to recreate those. So that's a win for Stila and a loss for me and home goods. All right, next I started looking for some greenery or some technically not greenery. It's more like purplery. Um, so I sent these little sprigs here. They're supposed to be just burgundy stems. I personally feel like these were too pinky purple to really go with the decor that they sent us. Now these are something that I personally thought I confidently could buy better because this this just isn't my fall vibe. This might be other people's fall vibe. Paw vibe. But I would definitely have preferred something with like a nice rusty orange to it or honestly just greenery because this is almost like a little springy. It's just so pink. So as we were walking around I did see like a lot of vessels with like fall foliage already in them which now like looking back on the situation and like what I'm about to show you guys here um I probably would have saved my if I had just bought like a vase with like some fall stuff already stuck into it. And I did like the idea of being able to use like the vessel itself for other times besides fall. So I did want to get separate foliage and a separate vase because also that's how it came in the box. So the first little like piece of foliage that I found isn't foliage whatsoever. It's pumpkins on sticks. And there's a little bouquet of pumpkins. <laughs> This made me like irrationally happy when I first saw it. I was like, I, I gotta have that. I don't know what it is about just some cute little, what are you made out of? I don't know. I have no idea what they're made out of. Paper or something? Like paper mache raffia? Something about these adorable little pumpkins on their adorable little sticks made me incredibly happy and I felt like I just had to get them. However, I was a little bit like unsure about them because of the price. These are $9.99, which is like a little bit expensive, but you know, that's like a little over a dollar a pumpkin get on a stick. That's not that bad, right? <laughs> I don't know. I thought they were really cute. They also are kind of like hefty, uh, but they have a really nice long stick, nice long stick to them. And I just thought they were absolutely precious. But I knew that I didn't want like just pumpkins on sticks. So I was like, I'm gonna have to find some like fill in greenery or <laughs> to go around these because you know, maybe just pumpkins on sticks isn't the most like voluptuous bouquet, but it's cute though. So actually the second item of greenery that I got was one of the last things that I got in the entire haul because they had more greenery sprigs like towards checkout. When I saw these, I thought they would be perfect. I was like, those have enough volume. They have some red in them, some like burnt orange, a little hint of yellow. And I could just see like the little pumpkins just sticking out of their little cute field of flowers or whatever these are. And these were only $5.99, so they were a lot cheaper than the pumpkins, but together that's a fairly expensive cost just for like the floral greenery section of this box. And if I did just buy one or the other, I definitely would have saved money, but I just thought this was gonna be just such a cute little, oh, I'm not cute. Everybody has their own personal tastes and stuff, but to me personally, this just screams fall. This is like whacking you in the face with fall. Where is this? You know, maybe not as much. It could be incorporated into fall decor, maybe even, eh. <laughs> it's, just so, it's just so purple. But for me personally, this little combination of little pumpkins on sticks and tiny little flowers makes me very happy. <laughs> it just seems very, very fall. The next thing that I moved on to was the vase that they had sent us. And like, they called this a vase, but honestly, I mean, this is this is a tiny little cauldron, right? It's black, smells a lot like spray paint. I don't uh, typically know if cauldrons smell like spray paint, but this one does. It's just a lightweight kind of pottery-ish type vase. Um, again, I have no idea what this stuff is made out of. Perhaps it's concrete. It kind of does look like it might be concrete. There's some little like chips around the edges and stuff and it almost looks like a concrete vessel. Anyway, this was the next thing that I was trying to recreate and this is the next thing that y'all might be a little mad about. I couldn't perfectly recreate this. I did look at several like black vases. There are a couple of different like planters and stuff. I didn't have a ton of planters out right now. I guess they took away like a lot of their planters and outdoor stuff because it's getting like, you know, cold times. Not really though, it's still freakishly hot. My knees are sweating right now. But like every black vase that I looked at was $29.99. And I was like, that's, I don't have that kind of budget. I don't have those kind of funds right now. I'm so sorry. Plus I feel like that's just a little bit too much to ask for just a black vase. I know it's gonna, it's gonna look so different than this. It's gonna look so different, but it technically still counts as a vase. And that's what we're looking for. This had a tag on it. It just said vase. And that's what I was finding. So instead of that, I got a giant honking glass thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's massive. I think it's supposed to look like an old uh, like wine bottle. It says ca ca Cabernet, almost a Cabernet. I don't think that's the same thing. It says Cabernet on it and it has this cool little stamp and this thing is huge. It is massive. You could put so many flowers in here or pumpkins on sticks. And it was only $16.99. I thought that was a pretty good deal for such a large piece of glass, a large vase. It's also made out of 100% recycled glass and it was handmade in Spain. So I thought that was really cool. I like those elements about it. Um, I really liked the kind of like light amber color of it. I thought it would be perfect for fall. And honestly, this is something that I would decorate with like just all the time anyway. Me personally, I think this is cooler than a black concrete planter, but you know, everybody has their own style and stuff. This might not go in other people's homes, but I like to mix in a little bit of like a, a vintage feel and I'm really trying to go more more like vintage French in my house. I don't know what gets more vintage French than like a giant wine decanter. Look at that. It's like double the size of my head and that's hard to do. I have a very large head. But yeah, these two things are definitely different. They're definitely not exactly the same, but I just thought these things coming out of the Amber Cabaret, not Cabaret, Cabernet, the Cabaret, not Cabaret, Cabernet bottle. Uh, I <laughs> thought it would be really cute. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I feel like I'm talking really fast. I'm also like sweaty. Uh, not only is it hot in here, but I think I'm kind of nervous. I feel like I'm, I've been nervous about filming this one because I feel like some of my items that I picked maybe are a little bit different. Maybe aren't necessarily precise exact recreations of the box. I'm a little bit nervous about what people are gonna think, but also keep in mind that I'm recreating this box with my own money to show that you could go out and buy stuff with that same budget. If it's your style and your needs better than like buying just like a, a box that's put together for you. That's what I'm trying to accomplish here. So yeah, things might not be exactly the same, but I'm trying to give that same feel, that same vibe, the same number of items, the same type of items, but just with a twist of like my own personal style. All right, next is just a simple little item, but I did want to recreate it. I should have shown these after the pumpkins. I totally forgot, but we got two little tea lights just to go in the pumpkins. And yeah, it's not like a full standalone item on their own, uh, but they came in the box. I'm sure they're part of the value. So I also wanted to get some, you know, like battery operated little like flickering lights. I honestly feel like I could have found these a lot cheaper, like even at Walmart, the dollar store, Dollar Tree, something like that. Uh, but I did find this little set of three. They were $6.99, a little over $2 a candle, but these are orange and I do really like the color of them. And since I didn't get pumpkins that you could actually put a candle on the inside of, I wanted the candles to be able to like set out on their own and still look cute. I did have a few candles that had like things written on them, like happy Halloween and that kind of stuff. They were a little bit expensive. So uh, I thought these smaller little guys would work just fine. It says there's batteries in here. So I'm really hoping <laughs> when I turn these on, they'll flicker and be cute. Also, Tater was ripping the tags off everything, literally everything. I brought all my stuff in, unwrapped it, set it on the floor just to kind of like look at it all together. Uh, left it for a couple of seconds. He just was ripping, just started ripping all the tags. Oh my gosh. They smell good. Oh, that's an added bonus. I didn't know that they would smell good. Oh, these are just straight plastic. I don't know why I smelled those. These are actually made out of like a wax or something and they do smell nice. Oh yay! And they do flicker and they turn on. There's actually batteries in there. That's good. Okay, cute. I like these. These have a very realistic feel to them. I like that they are made out of wax and they flicker and they smell really nice. Kind of like a cinnamony, like apple scent, a little like potpourri. All right, so I know that these weren't like a big part of the box themselves, but I, I, I think we did pretty good here. I was trying to give us some like ambience here in the back. I don't even know if you guys can tell if they're on, but uh, yeah, there are three little flickering lights. Tiny guys, I feel like it just it just keeps going. There is so much stuff in this box. That's one of the reasons it was really hard to recreate it. Just staying within a budget was like, it was difficult. So next we have these little boxes, which they are pretty cute. They're just a little pair of like stacking boxes, uh, gray and white checks. The insides are nicely lined and stuff. The construction isn't like 100% the greatest, but I feel like they're decent boxes. Like the bottom has some little like soft <laughs> stuff on it. And then the insides are lined as well. And uh, yeah, I think they're cute. They could be used for a little bit of storage or keep your secret stash of like little treats in there, little candies or something. So I was looking around the store for some boxes and honestly, it is a little bit hard to find boxes that are reasonably priced at home goods. <laughs> it just, it's always been like that. Uh, the boxes for some reason are quite expensive. So trying to find two boxes along with all this other stuff in my budget was a little bit hard. So what I was able to find were these two boxes here. We have a little guy on top, he was hiding inside this big guy here. The big
big guy is $12.99 and the little guy was, I want to say $7.99. Yes, the little guy was $7.99. These are also handcrafted in Indonesia. I think that's cool. Anything that's made by hand, I was like, oh, that's, that's I like that. I'm wondering if that means that they are like hand painted and everything, cause dang. Uh, so these boxes might not be like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like those other boxes are very like, hard <laughs> these are hard firm boxes but i feel like those boxes are meant to like set it on a shelf be like a decor item these i think are pretty they might be a little bit large for a shelf and they do have like open holes here for handles so they read a little bit more like storage boxes personally i think you could set these out as well maybe like tucked under like a little cute table or something. These are quite a bit larger than the other boxes. So if you are going for storage, there's like quite a bit more space. And I feel like this kind of damask pattern with like the rattan, whatever that is underneath it, um, reads a little bit more fall to me than the checkers. If the checkerboard was a little bit more, I kind of wish it was more of like a creamy rich color with the white instead of the gray. Like if it had gone a little bit more warm toned than cool toned, I feel like it would have been more fall. But um, I don't know, something about these I feel like could read fall and I think they're cute. And also practical. These definitely could be used for storage. You could put stuff in them and I think they would honestly look nice setting under like a little entry table or something like that. Oh folks, it's a thousand degrees. I'm sweating to death, but I need some coffee. <laughs> Mmm, not like it matters. It's so cold. So cold. Why is it that when you drink iced coffee, cold coffee on purpose, it's so good. I love me an iced coffee. But then when you have hot coffee that has become cold, why is that kind of gross? I feel like it's the same thing. Anywho, let's move on to the blankets here. I'm a little bit nervous to put this one back over my legs because last time it was kind of stabby. Maybe there is something like stuck in it from shipping or something. I still have yet to wash it. This is the blanket that we got in the box. I personally love the heft of it. It feels like a rug, like a thin rug. I just wish it was more comfy and cozy. I like the little tassels. I think they're super cute. I like the color scheme. I like the pattern. Um, Everything about it I do really like. I just wish it was stabby. <laughs> so when I was looking around home goods, I honestly was expecting to be able to find like so many re replacements, replicas of this blanket. Uh, I thought that was gonna be super, super easy because they are packed to the gills with blankets. But honestly, I was having a little bit of a hard time finding something that I thought kind of captured the feel of of that blanket while also being like a little fall inspired. It was just, it was kind of difficult. I did find an interesting blanket that I thought about getting for a minute. It was a little bit expensive. It was very unique and different, but it really didn't look like the blanket from the Decor Steels box. Um, so I didn't end up getting that one and I ended up finding this one, which I do think kind of captures the look of that other blanket. You know, we have a very similar pattern with the squares and stuff and the little lines. We have that tan color and the black. Uh, this is just like a nice light version of it. Now this one is super soft and cozy, very warm. There is a bit of a texture to it, but I feel like the other blanket honestly has a bit more of like a a rich look to it, a more like expensive look to it. However, I think this one's gonna work so much better as a blanket. I don't have to worry about my legs being poked. Oh, that's very specific. 80% cotton, 15% polyester, 5% other fibers. And the ingredients there. This one I definitely could see myself getting a lot more use out of. I also like the lightness of it, the brightness of it. I mean, I love black. Black is one of my favorite colors to decorate with. It's just one of my favorite colors in general, but I do really like the lightness and the coziness of this blanket. And I feel like it gives that fall vibe like quite a bit. It reminds me of a nice like big fall scarf. Oh my, like the infinity scarves of yesteryear. Like an early 2000s fall girl would have had this entire thing wrapped around her neck with like a sweater and some leggings and over the knee boots. Can I get a pumpkin spice latte please? So this pattern, these colors together, the, even the texture of it just really evokes memories of fall for me. So I think this is a cute blanket and it was only $19.99. There was a blanket in there that was like $79. I couldn't believe it. I've never seen a blanket that expensive in home goods before. But this one was only $19.99. Which truly and honestly, I feel like a little while ago that should have been like $16.99. It would have been $16.99. All right, you guys, so that brings us to our final and most controversial item. This one, I, mm, we, my parents are leaving, like actually right now, they're like getting on a plane right now to go to Scotland. And uh, I drug my mom to the home goods to come shopping with me. And I had this like panic of like, you have so much to do before you go to Scotland, but I need you to home goods shop with me. We had already been in there for a long time looking for all of this stuff. And uh, we got down to the picture. So this picture right here is what we got in our decor steals box. It's a little like pasture. There's a little barn or a house there. It looks very like impressionistic, like I said, pastoral, you know, just like a faux kind of oil painted looking. So this is the very last item that I had to try to recreate and they had nothing. 
nothing. I mean, if I wanted a beach scene, I'm covered. I get beach scenes for days. If I want impressionistic waves crashing on me in my house all the time, Home Goods is the place to go. But I couldn't find anything that was similar to this. Anything that had a similar feel, vibe, landscape, nothing. There was one mass of pictures of like some pots and things that looked kind of impressionistic, looked a little like vintagey, and I was like, well, okay, we could maybe they consider that. There's also this picture that was actually really pretty. It had like a black background with a greenery <laughs> painted on it, but all of those pictures were $39.99, and that was just way too much for my budget. So this was quite a struggle. I even ran over to TJ Maxx to see if they had anything and they, they didn't. So uh, I, I, I struggled with this one quite a bit and uh, that's when I came across the sale section at the Home Goods. And I just, I need y'all to stay with me because I have like reasoning. I have reasoning for why I selected this picture. All right, so keep in mind this scene. I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this scene right here. All right, so here we have like our little house, our barn, our pasture, very like oil painting-y, impressionistic. Keep that in mind, keep it in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and take her out of the frame. She might look better. <laughs> so what I was able to find is her. <laughs> okay, so I just looked it up and I found out that this is actually a painting by Vincent Van Gogh. I have never seen this painting before, but she is the potato peeler. You can't really tell because they took her knife away. So now she's just like the potato holder. She's not a landscape if you haven't noticed. You know, she's not a pasture. There's no little cow paths or trees or anything. She's just a lady. Uh, she does look a little on the spooky side, which I think is okay. I think it's fine because this is a fall kind of Halloween inspired box. If you wanted to spookify this, I think you totally could. You could blend this in with like already kind of spooky decor or like hang some cobwebs from her or something. And I think this honestly could make a fantastic Halloween decoration or if you just put it on like a gallery wall with a bunch of other pictures, I feel like she's she's got a goal. So here she is. Again, I feel like the painting style of this and this kind of go together. And that's one of the reasons I was drawn to this. So she's not super detailed. She has very like loose paint strokes, a little bit like impressionistic, you know, the hands are basically just like a couple little like and I feel like the colors kind of go together. Honestly, I kind of feel like she could live here. Like this could be her homestead. You know what I mean? She's here quilting or cracking open a walnut or whatever it is that she's doing in this picture. I feel like she could be sitting right inside that little barn, little house. I, I did also like that this was like an actual, I'm sure as you guys can see from all the reflections, like it's, it's glass, it has a nice frame to it. It has a good weight. This is just like a printed thing. There's no glass, it is very lightweight, just made with like some thin wood. So I feel like the quality of this one feels a lot better. This feels like a lot more substantial and I personally like vintage art antique art I love an old oil painting I love like a nice thick gold framed old piece of art yeah yeah she's not a field she's not a field but I feel like she could be in that field like if you saw those hanging together on a wall somewhere I feel like that's kind of cohesive I feel like those pieces like make sense together like on a nice gallery wall with some other pieces I I, I mean, I think it's fine. I think it's okay. <laughs> I hope you guys think it's okay though. I'd really love to hear your thoughts about this because I know it is quite different than the picture we have here. So she was $24 and she was on sale for $19. <laughs> so that's a little bit better than like the $40 paintings that I was considering. I'm very glad that I did not go for the expensive painting because I would have been well over budget. So speaking of budget, speaking of everything that we spent, we have finally gone through everything that I got to recreate the decor steals box. It was a lot like this. It was a lot of pieces you guys and I, I feel like I said, I don't feel super confident about this one, but let me know what you guys think. There were just so many items, but let me show you guys them here side by side so you can get like an overall overview of everything I picked versus what came in the box. For me, this is one of the times that I'm definitely like, oh, okay, the, there, there are things I definitely prefer from the box, but there are things I also definitely prefer from what I picked out. But I do like everything. I just feel, of course, like the things that I picked just fit my, my personal style, my personality, how I like to design my house, like the things that I like a little bit more than what came in the box. But that definitely makes sense because like I, I picked them out with my own two hands. But with the box, I was sent the same box everybody else was sent. So that's where like the can I buy it better comes in because I could take that money that I spent on the box and go to some place like a Home Goods or a TJ Maxx or wherever it is that you like to shop and use that money to purchase things that I know I'm gonna enjoy, that I know fit my personal style and that will go with the rest of my home decor. All right, so let me give you guys my total here. Like I said, I almost made the mistake of making my budget 150 and I'm really glad that I tried to stay under budget because turns 
now I only spent about 140 on decor steals and not 150. So everything all together, my subtotal before tax was 127.91, and then with my 6% Kentucky sales tax, it was 767 for a grand total of 135.58. So I was able to get everything for just a little itty bitty tiny bit less than what I spend on the course steals box. So I think I did okay. I think I did okay. Again, there's some things I would like to change, maybe the pumpkins, that kind of thing. But uh, I think I did pretty good. Plus, we also got two things of florals. So if I was just to get like these, for instance, then I would have saved like 10 whole bucks. So we could knock that down to like 117 and still had the same amount of items that we did from the box. So that is it. That is everything. Let me know what you guys thought. Did you, did you think this was a fail? I personally was like considering this a fail for me and I, I, I just was kind of struggling with this one. So I'd really love to know your all thoughts and opinions about everything. Let me, let me have it. Let me know down below in the comments exactly what you think. If I did a good job, if I did a bad job, what do you prefer from the box versus the things that I picked out and vice versa. Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I'm very excited to read them. So uh, yeah, that is it. That's everything I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind in the absolute world to me. And I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.